What's going on guys? It's your boy Long Live Shar. As you guys can see, we're back at another video for the best power for a build. So to start off, I would like to say go ahead and follow what you see on the screen right now. This is already the first step. Position power forward, handedness, you can choose whatever. I some right handed, so I go right handed, jersey number, you can choose whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next part. All right, so right here, guys, as you can see, we got the height, weight, wingspan, blah, 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 right? For the height, you want to choose 6'11". You don't want seven foot, but that's a little, it's an inch behind seven foot, but still 6'11 is cool. 6'11, weight 270. I've always said in my videos, never ever make a center or any position max weight because it's just stupid. It makes no sense. Why would you be max weight? We would just always be 10 pounds lighter than what the other guy is. The, more than likely, the other opponent is going to be 10 pounds heavier than you. He's max weight, you're not. So that extra vertical makes a difference. So 270, wingspan, maxed out, 7'9", body shape, whatever, right? So just keep this. I don't see you guys on. All right, right here. So because he's 6'11", this should be pretty much easy for a paint beast. So you want to have a close shot, driving dunk, standing dunk, most definitely post control. You could max out driving layup, 77, but now nah, let's keep it right at 64 now. Mid-range, max that out. Look, you have a max wingspan and already you can shoot an 80 mid-range. That is great. That is great. So let's not worry about playmaking. Tear your defense, max. Block, max. Offensive rebounds, blanks. Defensive, boom, max. Strength, max. Vertical, max. Stamina, max. That's 89. So as you guys can see, we have an 89 stamina. He's max. He's, he's not max weight. He's not max weight. He already has a stamina of 89, which is cool. Speed, I wouldn't really touch that because, he, again, he's still tall, just tall and big. So there's no point for him. Defense, not regarding away from the three. Rebounds, of course, block, most definitely. And driving layups to 60. Cool. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this right here. The stats is all looking like. But what really makes this build very unique is that mid-range shot is the 80. He's, listen, listen to what I'm about to say. He's 6'11". Max wingspan. His mid-range shot is an 80. A 80. And I believe that his three would have been like a 70. 70 center. Hold on, let me see. It, it would have been somewhat high. A 77. So if you did hit 99, it would have went up to 80. So that's just incredible. So you could make your you could max up your three point. I don't know what else you could take away. I just took away blocking. I wouldn't take away blocking. You would need that because again, you're that's the whole point of this. Blocking is essential to this build. So I'll keep that on and get rid of three point shooting. Because this build's not really meant for shooting. You could make it a shoot, but that's really up to you. Alright, so here, primary. Again, for this, I will post shot dagger because I'm because again, your post moves is all maxed out. It's like a 95, right? So, look, it says right here, it gives a large boost to a post hook, fade up and under, shimmy and hop shot. So, put that on. And also, your blocking. You already gonna get rebounds. You have max wingspan, so it's no point of really getting a glass cleaning badge, right? So, take over. So, it's really no point. I will go with something like a defensive bat. Take over. I keep saying badge. A defensive takeover. So there's either be stuff blocks, paint intimidations, or interior bash route. Me personally, I go with stuff block because I always love getting blocks, especially if somebody because I'm slow. But the person I'm usually gonna be guarding is that center. So once he get that ball, I'll be right there behind him, smack it right out of his hand. So I put that on. Complete build. And we have us a paint beast. If you ask me, it is like one of the greatest builds on here. Is the is the paint beast here? Simple, you know, back down Punisher, drop stepper. You could put Giant Slayer on, but you're 6'11. I, I just want to put that shit on. Posterizer, definitely. Put back boss, definitely. Postman technician, you can. Slivery finisher, yes. Makes it 
best in the whole thing. Like, so from here, you could put, I just saw it. You could put uh, live scene finisher up. You could put giant slayer up. That's really up to your butt. This right here, fearless finisher. Wait, if you ask me, let's put this on silver, put back boss on silver and put fearless on gold. And this is how you should make your build. Defense, you know, defense is pretty much the most easiest one. You don't have to, I don't have to explain much for this. Hall of Fame, chase down artists, uh, rim protector, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, Intimidator, Hall of Fame, post move lockdown, go to gold, and that's where we at right now. So this is how your badges should be for a paint beast. Just like this, guys. I did hope you enjoyed this video. Because I know much as I did, I love making these videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.